children today we are going into our last lesson a 10th lesson in science it is the name of the lesson is for shape and strength what is the meaning of shape and strength we can understand something out of it isn't it shape means it can be shape of something of a person an animal a fruit or any other thing and strength so we know what it is connected with isn't it shape and strength means strength of something and the shape of something yes so we are going to learn about the skeletal system of our body or and the body of different organism so you know what is the skeletal system it is all connected with the bones of organisms so here in this picture you can see a fox is talking to the tortoise isn't it what is the fox telling there if the tortoise did not have the shield you think this helmet is worthless for me the tortoise is asking isn't it so why is the fox telling that if that shield of the tortoise is not there he could have eaten it easily isn't it so why can't the fox eat the tortoise why can't it eat the tortoise have you seen what the tortoise does when something comes some danger comes near yes it pulls its hands and legs inside the shell isn't it and it will turn over and then what does it look like the shell looks like a stone so no animal will attack it so are they organisms that possess outer shells like that of the tortoise that is a question how does the hard shell of these animals help them so we have seen many animals around us which has got hard outer shell isn't it how do these uh, shells help the animals yes it helps them to protect themselves from their enemies okay now look at these pictures it's already given in the textbook which are those pictures there are some few organisms which are given in the picture in your textbook observe the picture and find out the characteristics of the shells of these organisms which are those organisms here first one it's a beetle a snail a prawn crab then mussels cockroach and centipede these are the animals which you can see here in the picture now are the outer shell of these organisms look the same is it of the same strength what is the difference between a millipede and a centipede you know what is a millipede and a centipede what is a millipede millipede is in malayalam you call therata and centipede is in malayalam you call what is a centipede either thirla you call a karingali what you call in malayalam that is centipede so look at the outer covering of these animals why do they have these outer coverings or outer shell yes we know it is to protect them from from other animals does it have the shell only to protect them from other animals no what else does it do give them yes it gives them shape so these outer covering gives these organism shape as well as protection so there is a reading uh, note given in a textbook look at that reading note snail beetle crab oyster etc have hard shell the shells of centipede millipede etc are comparatively less hard shells help to protect the body parts help to protect the body parts provide shape and help to escape from enemies these coverings in the outer surface of the body are called Ex exoskeleton okay so what does this the snail the beetle the crab the oyster all these have hard shells 
but the outer covering of the centipede and the millipede is lesser hard than the others. Now, why are these coverings there on the body? To provide shape and to help them to escape from enemies. These outer coverings of these organisms are called as exoskeleton. What is the meaning of exoskeleton? Exoskeleton means the skeleton which is outside the body is called exoskeleton. Exo means out. Okay. Exoskeleton. You know what is a skeleton? We have heard about a word skeleton, skeleton, isn't it? So the outer hard covering of organism which helps them to give shape and protection for these organisms are called as exoskeleton. There are other organisms also those who have, who have exoskeleton which are those the scales of the fishes. The fishes have got scales outside and reptiles also. For example, crocodile all those have scales outside. So feathers of birds, the birds have feathers, isn't it? The hair, the horn, the hoof. And the nails of animals are all uh, remnants of the exoskeleton. So, we know feathers of the birds. Birds have feathers. We have hair. Then, reptiles have scales. Then, feathers of the birds. Then, nails of animals. Animals have got nails. We are also having nails, isn't it? All these are parts of the exoskeleton. So, I hope you understood this. So, what is an exoskeleton? Exoskeleton is the skeleton which we find outside the body of the organism. Now, look at this other reading tape, reading material which is given there. Color diversity in exoskeleton. The beautiful patterns in a crab. Sometimes when you get a crab, we can see um, beautiful designs will be on the crab, isn't it? Then some beetles, they look very beautiful. So, Many uh, uh, organisms are there which have a very beautiful exoskeleton which makes the organisms very attractive. The attractive become, attractiveness becomes a threat to these animals. Why? Ah, because man has the tendency to catch them. In the newspapers and all sometimes you, were, you would have seen some news, isn't it? Uh, this type of uh, crab they are catching. The um, uh, tortoise, a different variety of tortoise they are catching and they are trying to export and sell it for a big like smuggling. That is also part of smuggling. So when they do this, when they kill, they kill the animals. The human beings kill the animals for because of the beauty of the exoskeleton. And thus what happens? These animals become existent. Okay. They um, are swiped about uh, off from the earth's surface. So man captures these organisms without the concern. And many of the such organisms are facing the threat of extinction. So what is the meaning of extinction? Being wiped away from the surface of the earth is called as extinction. We know some animals are there which are getting extinct from the earth. So like this, certain organisms are there which have very beautiful exoskeleton. And because of that, man is capturing them and using them for their benefits. And such animals are getting extinct from our earth. So here in this text itself, you can see um, uh, star tortoise, golden beetle, all these are uh, animals which are getting extinct. Okay. Now cockroach and lizard are two small creatures always found in our houses. Aren't they? Are their skeletons alike? Okay. Look at the cockroach and look at the lizard. Both have, both we see always in their house. In the house, isn't it? Are their skeletons alike? Do, do, does lizard have an exoskeleton? No, isn't it? Does a, ho a cockroach have an exoskeleton? Yes, it has got an exoskeleton. But the lizard does not have an exoskeleton. So, look at this page 126. There you can see a picture of a lizard is given there. Cockroach we know it has got an exoskeleton. What have you to do there? An empty picture is given, isn't it? What have you to do there? Draw the skeleton of the lizard. In that, draw the skeleton of a lizard. What is a skeleton? 
We have bones inside the body, isn't it? Draw the skeleton of a lizard. Now, have you drawn? Yes, isn't it? Now you can see here the figures of many skeletons of different animals. Okay? Many animals are there. We cannot understand which animal that is. Okay? But some we can, we know that um, uh, some are, uh, few are birds, fish is there, then lizard is there, then either horse or donkey, cow, cat, a bird, all these are there in that, isn't it? Now observe and identify the organisms to which they belong. So look at this picture, identify the animal and write down the name of the animal which they belong to. After that, Compare it with the picture you have drawn. Have you drawn it in the same way? Somewhat, isn't it? Yes. We have already learned that the outer shell is called as the exoskeleton. So now these animals, where is their skeleton? Do they have an exoskeleton? No, isn't it? Where is the skeleton found? Inside the body, isn't it? These animals, the lizard, where is the skeleton found? It is found inside the body. Where is the skeleton of the cockroach found? It is found outside the body. Isn't it? So the skeleton which is found inside the body of animals are called as endoskeleton. Endo means inside. Exo means outside. Please remember this. So what is exoskeleton? The hard shell like covering which is found on the outside of the body of organisms are called as exoskeleton and the skeleton which is seen inside the body of the organism is called as endoskeleton. Now there are certain organisms which have both. What is that? Exoskeleton and endoskeleton. For example, a crocodile. Look at the crocodile, picture of the crocodile. Outside, it's got a thick, hard covering that is called as the exoskeleton. Okay, but if inside the crocodile's body also, there are bones or the skeleton is there. So that is called as endoskeleton. So the crocodile has both exoskeleton and endoskeleton. Now, the cow has got an endoskeleton. Suppose... The cow does not have a skeleton or any other animal does not have a skeleton. How will the shape of the animal be? It will all be like this, isn't it? Like a round ball. Yes. So why is a skeleton needed for the body of organism? What is the use of a skeleton? Or why do we have bones in our body? We know the skeleton is made up of bones. Isn't it? Many bones together form the skeleton. So why do we need bones inside our body? Yes, bones provide shape and strength. The bone is not there. We won't have strength to get up, to walk, to run, uh, to jump. The animals cannot walk. Isn't it? So... They help in movement also. To move also, we need bones. So how do the bones help us? The bones provide shape, strength to the body and also they help in moving around. So the bones provide shape and strength and also they help in movement. So in this chapter, in this portion, we learn three things. We learn what is an endoskeleton and which are the organisms which are endoskeleton. Then we learn what is an exo, uh, exoskeleton, which are the organisms that have an exoskeleton and what is the use of bones in our body. So please write this answer. Now look at this worksheet. This you have to do in your notebook. Okay. Do, draw this table in your notebook. Write the names of animals. Find out the names of animals which have exoskeleton, which have endoskeleton and Find out more animals which have both endo and exoskeleton and complete this table. Thank you children.